Hey, hey, OC hunters, I'm Blue Devil. Today, we are going to take a look at Gigabyte's RX 5600 XT gaming graphics card. As some of you may know, the RX 5600 XT series was announced at CES 2020, but was not aimed at the ultra high-end market, but more for the $300 segment of gamers that don't want to spend an arm and a leg on a GPU or any other part of their build. So today we are going to find out if the Gigabyte RX 5600 XT gaming OC stacks up against a few other GPUs I have here in the studio right after this. Featuring AMD's Navi 10 GPU, the RX 5600 XT series is based on a 7 nanometer process, meaning it shouldn't be too difficult to cool. Armed with 2304 unified shaders and a pixel fill rate of about 112 gigapixels, allows the Navi 10 GPU to comfortably game at 1080p with its 6 gigabytes of GDDR6. Now, Gigabyte's RX 5600 XT gaming OC has two revisions at least one with a BIOS update to increase core clocks from 1620 MHz to 1750 MHz. The BIOS update also manages to bump up the memory from 12 gigabits per second to 14 gigabits per second. Well, everything else essentially remains the same. Gigabyte has sent me a Rev1, but this was just before we get hit with the human malware pandemic. So I'll be doing a vBIOS update today as well. So this gives me the opportunity to see what exactly the performance difference was to this particular RX 5600 XT. Featuring Gigabyte's WinForce 3X cooling, which sports three 80 millimeter fans, the center fan actually spins the opposite direction as the outside two fans. Having a fan spinning the opposite direction seems like it would introduce more air turbulence, but in all actuality, it adds in smoother airflow with better heat dissipation. Coupled with semi-passive fans, five direct touch heat pipes, and an ample amount of aluminum fin stack, this WinForced design is no joke. Gigabyte also brings its ultra durable copper PCB design to the table, as well as having solid capacitors, metal chokes, tier one memory, and lower RDS MOSFETs for longer life and better overclocking. Powering the Gigabyte RX 5600 XT is a single eight pin PCIe connector alongside its PCIe Gen 4 connection. Just something to note here, while PCIe Gen 4 is here offering double the throughput of PCIe Gen 3, all modern GPUs haven't even completely saturated PCIe Gen 3. Plus the only motherboards that have support for PCIe Gen 4 are AMD's new X570 and B550 chipsets. So don't let PCIe Gen 4 support be the only reason to consider a newer GPU. Okay, looking at this 5600 XT, the beastly WinForce 3X cooler takes up two slots as well as spanning the entire length of the card. A single element of RGB, the Gigabyte logo, keeps RGB subtle. On the back is a full metal backplate for added protection. Connection-wise, three DisplayPort 1.4 ports, as well as an HDMI 2.0 port are present. Priced at around $300 USD, the next competitor of the RX 5600 XT is the RTX 2060 from NVIDIA. Unfortunately, I only have a couple of RTX 2060 Supers to test alongside the RX 5700 XT, as well as an RTX 2070 Super for a high-end GPU. Testing will be done at 1080p as well as 1440p. So let's get to those benchmarks and then we can discuss the results.
So running through those benchmarks, and wow, it really seems when AMG GPUs are optimized, they hit really well. For example, in Call of Duty Warzone, at both 1080p and 1440p, the RX 5600 XT bests the RTX 2070 Super, while in other games, which the RX 5600 XT performs decently well in, especially against both RTX 2060 Supers as well as the RTX 2070 Super. At 1080p, AMD's RX 5600 XT is a beast of which Gigabyte makes even better with their WinForce 3X cooling solution. This GPU never got above 70 degrees Celsius, even with the higher power draw vBIOS. So what can I say about Gigabyte's RX 5600 XT gaming OC graphics card? Well, for someone looking for a GPU to run a high refresh rate 1080p monitor, which Gigabyte also has, seems to be the perfect pairing. All right, guys, if you want to check out the Gigabyte RX 5600 XT gaming OC, links will be in the description below. Toss a like and a sub, it'll be much appreciated. Blue Devil, out.